Today I'm going to talk about how to support different tomato type varieties. This is Roma Determinant and it is called Sunrise Sauce. It is such a short plant that it will not work with the tomato cage. All I need to do is use a stick to, to tie the main stem or the, the heavy fruit stem just to keep them upright. Even that I can even um, keep them falling onto the, the ground so I just try to keep them um, the, uh, the mulch so that it does not touch the ground. It is such a short variety that it is good for container growing too. I also have a couple plants at the back. The same thing, I am using only a couple sticks to keep them upright. So now let's go look at another variety. So these are cherry tomatoes that I've been growing. I use a tomato cage, but I follow the technique of stripping the leaves as the fruit grows. You can see that there is no, almost no leaf at the bottom. I have been trimming them. I follow the method that some people are using in the greenhouse. You can see that they are all just stem and the fruit. So I want to see if it uh, if it is a good method and I found that it is a very good method you can just clean the leaves you don't have to worry about the, the diseases and also all the fruits are getting the Sun evenly so they ripen really nicely so that's how I take care of my cherry tomatoes In this small little area, I have about eight tomato plants. Some of them are Roma and some of them are beefsteak. So for Roma, the shorter one, like, like the determinate types, I am using only one stick to keep the plant a little bit up and then not falling all onto the ground. And as usual, I am actually going to clean quite a bit of the leaves at the bottom because they don't need to be in here anymore to keep the plant to keep the plant clean and also the um, the fruits will get the, the sun better so this is the Amish pits I could have used a tomato cage but I had only 10 tomato cages and I am growing like 30 some plant plants so I don't want to buy 30 cages so this one I'm just using the stick to see if if it can be fine and it is fine this plant by nature, it's kind of like spindly and the, the leaves are sparse so it's easier to, to maintain and, and care because um, you don't need a huge cage to, to, um, to keep them straight and, and also I can keep cleaning the, 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 the leaves that are uh, starting to turn yellow and don't need to be on the plant. So that's how I take care of my tomato plants. Good luck with the tomato plants. That's it for today. Goodbye.